infrastructure. It's something you always hear screamed from your dad's radio on the way to construction jobs, but what is it really? Could it be structures and houses for ghosts and water damage to hang out, only seen by specialized cameras that populate your sister's wedding registry? Is it a shortened way to say infant structures? You know, like letter block buildings your one-year-old nephew Gigan makes. Or maybe it's just roads and shit. Huh? Wait, what? Wait, it really is? Well, that sucks, but what if we spice up that boring dad radio talk and the road is as big as a friggin' universe where the world is a casualty to evil corporate greed? Well, hope that, per usual, that corporation is cutting costs and their giant mech of earth destruction was made out of construction paper from the back of a rag mag, so it takes longer to make than it does to destroy. Any Whosville, my name is James. I'm Nicole. And this is Mostly Mostly Speaking Speaking Sentai. Guys, like I said, my name is James, and I'd like to tell you today, on this day right here, the car rangers taught me that on a narrow street, don't block the traffic unless you're a Snorlax pet. Oh, throw me in there and let me wiggle on your wrinkles, Snorlax. Oh, jumpy bounce. Oh, yes. And speaking of jumpy bounces, if you're trying to find out information about the latest trends of Tokusatsu, how about you bounce over to tokusatsunetwork.com. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. That was my beautiful queen, my betrothed, my bride to never be. Rude. And my fellow host, Nicole. How was that rude? Well, (laughs) (laughs) it's quit making fun. I finally found something I can make fun of. Look like I have a boner right now. Oh. How, man's pants need to quit don't. doing that. Yeah. Uh, also, like, boners don't look like that. Like, penises don't go straight up. They go, like, curved. Oh, th- Like, this would look like a boner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're saying you have a curved penis? <laughs> no, I'm saying, <laughs> the, I mean, like, most penises are <laughs> slightly curved. But they, like, start. The, okay. I'm showing Nicole. They, like, start uh-huh. and they, like, it go up. It looks like up. a sundial. Yes. It, like, uh. Like it goes like up. A sun, it doesn't just shoot like, out. S- like sign language shoot. for a sunrise. So it <laughs> goes like he's doing. that. It doesn't uh-huh. shoot out of the ground. Right. It doesn't just like. Like a snarlac. <laughs> okay. You know what a snarlac is? It's not like a. It doesn't just like. Yeah. It doesn't punch out like a zombie <laughs> does from a grave. Yeah, exactly. Hey, guys, uh, <laughs> later on in the week, we'll be re- <laughs> we started recording this episode oh, and the man. recording. It's not like the audio or we lost or anything. Uh, we just immediately talk because of something going on with me. Uh, just talk about trauma. And it is uh, we didn't have time to talk about Super James Sentai. is losing his fucking mind in this quarantine, guys. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, yeah, you uh, that's are. the lore. Oh, my God, I'm crazy cupcake right no, now. No, you're just like, Ugh. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah, but that's because of Distro Kid. Find out no, information about it later. I'm. This it's is because of the quarantine. Yes, guys, it's because of the quarantine that I'm losing my- You got my- it, baby? Quazy mind. Like crazy brain. I'm just like, oh man, I can't masturbate as much as I usually do because oh. Nicole's around. Shouldn't you be able to masturbate more? Why would I be able to masturbate more? Because you'd have more boners. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but then you'll then you'd be like, get that out of here. Why you have so many? I'm you don't not have even... to have it. You don't have to shove it in my face. You can go into the other room. Uh, but then you would be like, wow, he, I know what he's doing in there and he's masturbating that much. And you'd be like, no, I'm James, not even that. I know that you do that much. I'm not even it's that. It's not a secret. You tell me, you tell everyone like every fucking day. Let me say my no. joke. You'd be like, I'm not even that sure. Sh- Swing worthy. You what? <laughs> Swing. You know, Garth and friends. Uh huh. Wayne World, Party Rock. If Abraham Lincoln was a lady, he'd be 
Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Is that from Wayne's World? Yeah. <laughs> You're on. It, you watched it so much on Comedy Central during a Sunday afternoon. No, I didn't. Oh, that's. It I was just thought constantly. that joke was fucking hilarious. Okay, I thought you were making fun of the joke. No, that is a joke on there. Uh, I'm yeah, but I thought you were making fun of the joke. Oh, oh, uh, Garth. That doesn't make any sense. Man, that lady Garth. That's who the hottie in that movie yeah. was. She's just like. I'm filling out the paperwork for this festival for you. And I was like, oh, uh-huh. paperwork. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And not even a paper cut on her. That's why you said it looked good when I accidentally cut my blue wig to look like Garth. Oh, did you? You don't remember that? I cut it and I was like, James, please tell me I don't look like Garth from Wayne's World. Okay, and you were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you kind of do. And I was like, no. <laughs> and I, th- but in the back of my mind, I was like, once she leaves the bedroom, cause she's swing worthy, I got to jack it. Uh huh. Do you know that I'm just masturbating in like every shower I take now? Yes, absolutely. Swing. <laughs> it's uh, showers are the only luxury I've had for the past two years. I normally don't masturbate in them, but. You gots to do what you gots to do because you're it, like you're like I'm embarrassed. Oh, about that's mast- why you don't jerk off as much. Oh no, I mean uh, maybe, but I want you like if you're here, I want you to just be like in the room with me, even uh-huh. if you're just like drawing. James, you know how much time you take out of a day just to do that. But if you're there, I'm like swing. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying it won't take as long. Of course not. Yeah. Why are we talking about this? So I don't much? know. Okay, Nicole. So, uh, do you want to start with your thing before we get into the episode, or we start with? Thing? I already forgot what it was. The Instagram ad. Oh, uh, I was scrolling. I was scrolling on Instagram while I was waiting for James to restart the recording session or whatever, uh, and there was an ad. And I was like, I feel personally attacked because <laughs> it was a, it was like a bra ad for women with small boobs. And I was like, fuck you, Instagram. And how did they get that information? How do they know your breast size? I don't know, man. Oh, because yesterday you tried Maybe. getting bras. That, yeah. that has to be why. That's really creepy. Yeah. Now they know you got them nice titties. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. I think every bra ad should just, no matter what size, it's like, we got them bras for them nice titties. So then if you, um, I guess, if they're directed, direct, like, directed ads, but if they're, like, general ads and it shows, like, a specific size, then people without that size will say, well, then I don't have nice titties. But if it is a targeted mm-hmm. ad, just constantly sweeping statement, nice titties. Yeah. Because then you'd be like, yes, I do have those. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm looking at them in my new glasses of nice No, I'd titty'd. be like, oh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you just send, you'd go over to. I try to send them nude pics. <laughs> no, I was just going to say you're going to send them like blush and kissy emojis. <laughs> DM them that. DM them a slap. A, oh, How like rude. I oh, okay. <laughs> I okay. I was. I read that like butt fan fiction. <laughs> so when you said a slap, I was like, oh, because you want them to spank James, your bottom, you ass whore. <laughs> <laughs> you anal bitch. <laughs> you anal bitch. <laughs> oh, you're such a butt slut, Willow. Uh, yeah. No faith. You're the butt slut here. <laughs> I read a fan fiction over on What the Hellmouth this week. Go check it out. It's called Slaying Slayer Ass. Uh, and this author knows what they like, and that is lesbians doing butt stuff. Yeah, and I was trying to listen to not another D&D podcast, but I could still hear you saying ass whore. <laughs> yeah. And just why do people gape? It's boggling to me. If you gape, Make like do a because an they anonymous get pa paid. Okay, son. you get paid to gape. They uh, get uh. paid that gape money, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Should I start gaping then? No. 
slayers no. have oh this okay this goes into my thing it's just like healing is yourself is this just gonna be another bonus <laughs> no 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 we're only 10 minutes uh, in so technically I, more than that because of the intro oh yeah yeah because we didn't record yeah. the intro for this one so i was thinking because of the slayers healing factor the slayers have a healing factor just like everyone else in the world uh, I mean, what? not in the world. You're saying uh, their healing is uh, normal, is what the, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I had Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds in my mind. So I was like, yeah, just like everyone in my mind right now. Uh, James. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? She's laughing. People who work at Subway have the same <laughs> healing factor yeah. as everyone else in the world. They get cut with a knife and it automatically heals. However, that is not the case. So I woke up with stomach issues this morning. So I was in the bathroom for a while and it popped into my head. Nicole, uh-huh. what if we could have healing potions? Like, for real, you drink it and then you get healed. Or, you but know, to what extent? Uh, well, uh, I'll keep going. Okay. You, you better believe I'm pitching you on this ad. Or, you know, in Fortnite, how they're, like, wrapping up their bandages? Well, they mm-hmm. just got shot. Mm-hmm. How is that healing you back up to 100%? It has to have something because on those bandages. Okay, well, I'm about to make video games and D&D a reality. Whoa. Stem cells. Uh-huh. Mush those up <laughs> and then either drink it as a smoothie yeah. or lather it on a cut and then you're healed. Mm-hmm. Healing potions are in babies who aren't actually babies. I don't think so, you know what stem cells are. Well, stem cells are. like when uh, when a man loves a woman <laughs> and semen goes into egg. It, it creates stem cells, and that's why stem cell research, like in the early two, 200s, w- early 2000s, I mean, were a, a hot topic debate because it's like, well, these have clear healing factors to them. Yeah. So why not? So then how did my mom get stem cells taken out of her? Uh, the, the restrictions started lifting after people were like, no, like we have scientific fact that these should be used for healing purposes. So yeah, but I'm saying, how did she get her own stem cells taken out? Uh, the, there's, there, you still have them in you, but to like get like I don't know, like that pure uncut stem cell is fuck. I wish I had that Jake and Mirror reference. You always fucking say what? I say the thing that made you think of it, and then I'll be able to do it. It's like. Caught you in your own lie, Blumenfeld. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, your lies are catching up to you, yes, Blumenfeld. thank you. Your lies are catching up to you, Blumenfeld. So, uh, yeah, all of a sudden we have a healing, like, you know how CBD oil mm-hmm. is like, oh, <laughs> you have a bath and it, like, makes you at ease with yeah. CBD oil. Well, that's what you can do for stem cells. Like, uh-huh. uh, let, I had some stuff. You got to burn? Well, just rub some stem cells on it. It'll heal up real quick. Okay. Did you fall off your scooter? You get an abrasion, a scraped knee? So you're saying that stem cells are healing potions? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So you're you, saying healing potions are real? Yes, that's what I'm... Yeah. Okay. We could make them a reality. Cool, Just put cool, some cool. red dye in it, and yeah. then all of a sudden, it's a healing potion. Blue dye, though, is either a shield or mana potion. Oh, sorry, magic ain't real. I'm kidding. Magic's real. Watch Justin Willman. You just had some hard sex and you're feeling sore? Well, guess what? Use some stem cell lubricant and you'll never be sore again. That's not the same thing. (laughs) Oh, stem cells are a healing factor, just like everyone. You know everyone. Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, (laughs) Slayers. That's everyone. And not the band Slayer who's like, God hates us so! God Hates Us All is a very good CD. It was it was released on 9-11, 2001. Mm. So I like to say either we live in a pre-God Hates Us All <laughs> world or a post-God whoa, Hates whoa, Us whoa, All whoa. world. Who's ah? Are, are, you, are you pre-God Hates Us All? Were you born before 2001? No. No, Nicole. <laughs> you can't even get drunk then. No. Uh-oh. But I will. Oh, <laughs> heating on them. Oh, remember when I knew some teenagers that drank? I remember when we were here to talk about Sentai. 
Yeah, how far? Oh, yeah, guys, this is going to be a short-ass app. No, cause, it's not. Because it's going to be a bonus app later. Oh, and I have an update on my tooth. Yeah. A real quick one. I'm not going to get into detail. Listen, Are you, though? No, but listen to our Road to G-Fest one that when we came home Don't, and I talked it's about. Gross. Uh, I had an infection in my tooth. So I, it just wasn't going away recently. It would, you know, be there for three days and clear up. And I was just like, fuck, man, what is wrong with this? So I was afraid because I was on WebMD and they were like, it could go to your brain and die. At the time, I was like, why not? But then you mean your bloodstream. Oh, well, no, it, the infection travels and then like it will infect your brain. Oh, so uh, I didn't want I didn't want to get I didn't want to be dead of a mouth infection. Then people will be like, wow, James was gross. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I went to the dentist and all it is, is my wisdom tooth is not fully impacted. So sometimes like food, if it gets down there, will develop bacteria and plaque. And that's what causes it. So it's nothing serious. I'll just need to eventually get that wisdom tooth out. Mm -hmm. Praying for that stimulus check to come in. Yeah. So then I can afford it. Yeah, baby. Or get on Medicare and then uh, I can go to a free clinic to get it done. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, I would. It's cheap, baby. Those doctors are doctors, a.k.a. heroes, just like everyone else. Uh Uh-huh. You know, the Avengers? That's everyone else. Yeah. So, Nicole, are we getting into this app? Oh, shaking them taps. Fuck off. I asked you. And now I'm asking you and Pube. (sighs) Yeah, but you're acting like it's my fault that we're not. No, no, now I'm saying like, hey, are you ready? I'm ready. And I'm saying that I already said I was ready. Guys, I took a nap for the first time in a long time and watching SpongeBob. Nicole was like, oh, I love it so much. Thank you, Corwin, for giving us your prime password. I was really proud of you. For what? Taking a nap or watching SpongeBob? For just being chill the whole day. Yeah. Because you don't do that enough. I was exhausted. Yeah. And my tooth was uh, hurting a lot. And I've been sewing face masks. Uh, you're a hero in my book. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, you're a big old fuck? long sandwich, baby. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna s- sell them. That's the name of the episode because you didn't react to it. <laughs> <laughs> because I do need to have some sort of a semblance of an income. Let's do another live stream of you selling uh, your prods. But it's the same stuff. So? New people come in. No. Can you hear? I've always wondered this. Can you hear me in the room? What do you mean? Like, am I loud enough for you? Because I have headphones on. I hear you in my headphones. Like right now? Yeah, like right now. Yes, you are such a fucking loud human being. What if I'm more like this? I bet your neighbors can probably hear you. No, they can't. They're too busy uh, listening to surround sound. No, that's Smoky downstairs. Weed. Oh, that neighbor. Yeah. The one that I pointed at. Hey, I don't know where those fingers are intended. What? Jimona! <laughs> All right, let's get into this app. So today- hey James, who am I? You're you. I'm you. No, uh, no. Yeah. Today we watched episode 36 of Car Ranger entitled- Did you write it down, Nicole, or do I need to open up my computer? No, why is it- Well. Only when I don't write it down is when you ask me. Nicole and I cuddled last night and it was like I was back home. Like I was finally home. It felt so. We need to start doing that instead of the, like being out and about. Well, Remember when we used to cuddle and watch Community? Yeah. And then we did that tonight. Those were the days. Yeah, and you fell asleep. Yeah, because I was tired again. But yeah. I was still cuddling you while sleeping. Yeah. And that's perfect. Yeah. Today we watched episode 37 of Car Ranger entitled The Dreadful Universal Highway Project. I got the hiccups. So, Nicole, what'd you think of the ep? Mm, I don't know. I already forgot what happened. (laughs) Uh, They (laughs) were being blasé about protecting the earth. Right, yes. And they were getting cocky. And then they were like, the evil guy was like, I'm, hey, I'm evil. And they were like, oh, okay. And then uh, they were like, Fuck them up, boys. Yeah. And then Grouch was like, uh, I think I forgot a piece. And they're like, oh. Oh, daddy. And then he was like, you fucking imbecile. 
Okay, so to... And then they were like, we learned Alassian. I'll let me try. And Dapu was like, you fucking dumb bitches. <laughs> I think you should start doing episode summaries. <laughs> And then I have to translate them. No. We see this exhaust guy. He's a space demon. And then he says, I have a book magazine that you guys can make a robot out it's, of. It's Reckless Dash Emperor Exhaust. Because he's dashing around the place. And or maybe Reckless. It's, maybe it's Mrs. Dash. Do you think he's a cumin god? A spice lord? No, he said he's he's evil. Okay, so what's the evil spice? Sapphire? Saffron, I mean? He said, because remember he said, uh, I'm the ruler of evil in the universe. And they were like, what's a ruler? And then Grotch was like, uh, it's a thing you measure stuff with. And I, they were like, oh, okay. He actually, and I was like, ICP moment. <laughs> I, he actually said, not a thing who measures. He goes, I think it's a person who measures right, things. Right, right, right. So it's even funnier. Yeah. Um, And I was like, why are they just doing what this guy says? Because he's huge. Well, I think it's also because he is saying that he has the same goal as them. So they're like, yeah. Which... What is the Bozox goal these days? Is it just blowing up Earth and making yeah. it fireworks? Yeah. Like, do they still have that goal? Yes. Or is the goal now just to kill the car rangers? It feels like they Both. have forgotten the goal of blowing up the Earth. You know what? That's actually a really good point. Because I haven't heard them talk about that in a long time. Well, because I think they've realized that they can't blow up the Earth until they defeat the car rangers yeah where that's not necessarily true yeah just blow up the earth with the car rangers on it yeah because now they have fully switched to just being... do what i do in video games and run away from the people trying to attack you and just go to the next checkpoint and do what you're supposed to do before they catch up to you so nicole i last night while playing pokemon fire red <laughs> I used that technique to get out of a cave because yeah, I was like, dude. I just, so I made the mistake. I thought, hey, the whatever badge was like past 30. I could tame my Pokemon, but I guess it's up to 30. So now my all of my Pokemon are not following my instructions. It's that Which is <laughs> fucking hilarious it, to me. I like, it sucks because they're like, oh, we're, we will make sure you're not allowed to over level to the point where you just can sweep everyone but like let me over level pokemon no boo how does my dry bread do it then like he just has one pokemon that he has to completely over level ask him okay i'll ask him so now i'm in like lavender with a bunch of uh angsty ass Pokemon <laughs> who are saying, I don't follow it's you. So fucking funny. <laughs> Except a Gyarados that I just got who I called, what did I call him? Rage Worm. You're not going to say who my dry bread is? Oh, he's You're a YouTuber explain? that does a bunch of Pokemon challenges of like single Pokemon. Can I beat Pokemon Fire Red with only a Zubat? Yeah. And he tries to do it. So he has to over level a bunch, but maybe he knows that like, I can over level until this point, then I need to get the next badge. Yeah, most likely. Ghost likely. Ghost! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. All right, let's get into some notes. Why is Signal Man's phone booth always in the middle of nowhere? Like, he's supposed to be fighting crime, but he's always just like in the worst spot. Maybe that's a cultural thing. I guess I guess that's the joke, right? Yeah. He does seem like when he does do that, it makes me feel like, oh, he's like a rural cop. So yeah. it kind of it relaxes me and puts me at an ease when I see Signal Man just hanging out. And it's always summertime. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I lived in Japan back then or in the 80s. Japan in the 80s, man. Wild and crazy cocaine. I'm kidding. I don't think they're they're drug people. I have no idea. Do, well, then what do the Yakuza do? How do they make their money? Yakuza, let us know in a five-star iTunes review. How are you making that bread? Besides, like, kidnapping Sega employees. I watched a video <laughs> from uh, the Hello You guy. Yeah. Or it was on his channel, but was another person. I guess Sega hired the Yakuza 
to kidnap a programmer's sister to make sure that they didn't make music for Nintendo during like the height of the Sega Nintendo feud. So cool. I guess that's how they're making their money as enforcers. Cool. Let us know, Yakuza. I liked a really cool thing, and mm-hmm. it's just like nice information and statistics of breaking down the Car Rangers battles with the Bozak. They were talking to the the exhaust guy, mm-hmm. and they're explaining like, well, you know, we we've done thirty two wins, one loss, and two ties. Wait, oh, I mean, other yes, I mean, yeah. yeah, the Car Rangers. Yes, yes, the Car Ranger. The Bozak have won once. Yes. They've lost 34 times, I thought it was. Oh, 34, okay. And then two ties. And I'm like, that's like my my career. You know, I've got one win. I would consider that all of my idols from rap music thinking I'm a great rapper. Uh, The Mm -hmm. losses is just everything else I've done. And then the ties, I would say, are the two times we've been on Ranger Command because we had a fantastic time and we love Eric. But, but you, you be- said your music career, didn't you? No, I said my career. Oh. Uh, but, you know, th- their fans don't seem to enjoy us. Yeah, because we're not celebrities. Uh, no, they they enjoy other fans. They like Void Ranger. He was just on. He did have an amazing episode. He talked about World of Warcraft a bunch, which was great. Yeah. Rela- and saying like, oh, I like World of Warcraft and Rangers stuff. So I c- combined my th- my fandoms. As I well. don't know. It's just weird that you would expect a bunch of their fans to like us that much. I was much. hoping for at least 20 or at least them to tell us like, I, okay, this is okay. This Dave, is what I have a no, problem with. Not no, not this fucking shit again. Oh, no, no, no. This is what I have a problem with. Uh, y'all are fucking cowards <laughs> tell us you hate us instead of just hiding behind your keyboards not doing a goddamn thing hide behind the keyboards to be violently hateful towards us so then that's don't the engagements baby james eric if you're listening to this james, i hope you, you still need are. to get over the fact that People aren't going to comment on every fucking thing you do. Eric, please. Oh, my God. You have the authority to snip this portion out, portion out, a portion it, and get over (laughs) into your your podcast to tell everyone. I can't wait to play Animal Crossing. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, guys. I feel like it's going to be our saving grace for our sanity. Okay. So is you don't believe that mine is master. We also got Jackbox games I want to play, and we're, we'll figure I out how to. I just don't live. know how to like round up people. Like so many people are like, oh yeah, we're all playing this game together, and I'm like, how do you get? How do you coordinate that many people to come together and do that? To like cattle them, I found this out from. An episode of Figure It Out, a tiny girl knew how to throw her voice and she goes, Yabity Aim, Yabity Game. <laughs> that was the fucking stupidest contestant I have ever seen. I, like, I thought, like, she knows how to throw her because voice. Because that season or whatever, the reboot yeah. sucks ass. God, it's so bad. At least I've now that I've seen a few mores, there have been some panel members who are good at the game. Uh-huh. But God, the only reason I hate Ariana Grande is from how terrible she is at figure it out. Are you sure that's the only reason? Yeah. Positive. Because she kind of sucks just <laughs> all around. I also hate her because she broke Pete Davison's heart. Oh, they're not together anymore? Oh, yeah. They were together for like two months, then split. Okay, good. I was like, man, I like, honestly, can I say, <laughs> like, I thought Pete Davidson was really cool until I found out he was dating Ariana Grande. And I was like, no, Pete Davidson sucks now. <laughs> oh, no, Nicole. <laughs> I mean, like, just think if... I don't know who's if like all of a sudden you're he was probably he's like your age. So two years ago ish, you were 23. Just think you're 23 and Mickey Wicky hand is trying to court you. Fuck no. Yeah, no, that dude's a terrible person. Uh, I don't know the Ariana Grande. Like if Lord started trying to court you, you'd be like, uh, yes, please. Fuck yeah, dude. 
if Hugh Jackman started trying to court you. Except two years ago, wasn't Lord underage? <laughs> no, Lord, I think is, oh wait, no, she's not your, I think, let's see how Lord was two years ago. Oh, the Mixed Berries pod just followed me on one of my accounts. Don't do that to me. I thought you were going to say that they finally released an episode. No, not yet. I have the first episode if you want to check it out. Lord, she was born in 96. So So she's my brother's age. So yeah, two years ago, she was 21. Oh, okay. So two years ago, she's trying to court you. She's like, I see your makeup in a different room. At the same bar. And you're like, I'm oh. so upset. And then she's like, writer in the dark. And you'll be like, yeah, I'll fucking kiss you if you're the writer in the dark. Yeah. Do you, when it's dark time, do you want to kiss me? Cause I'm a writer in darkness. Yeah. Oh my God. That's like when I'm sad. I'm a writer in the dark. It, no, does you're that... not. You explicitly said you don't want to write. No, I would still write down lyrics. And they haven't heard that episode yet. That's a bonus one coming to them. Should we put that out on Patreon? No, no, we shouldn't no. do that. I do my makeup in somebody else's car. Courting. James, what? Pete Davidson. Figure it out. Oh, yeah. Sue, you be giving this Sue. God, she was so fucking dumb. And yes, I. I am talking to someone who at the time was like six years old. Okay, she's like nine okay oh so we've been on pluto tv they have like a nickelodeon games and sports type channel and sometimes they'll show the things that were on nick gas and it dawned on me we were watching global guts do do, do, do you have it episode three so it was very rough but the cine like it just has such a nice feel to it guys and i was just shit talking this one contest and i was like you fucking suck if he wins i'm gonna be livid And I was like, wow, there's someone who is in their late 30s right now who their ears are probably getting red because someone is shit talking them from a thing they recorded in 1990. Yeah. I do my makeup. Can I talk about Sentai now? Yeah, baby, you can talk about anything you like. Why don't the Bozak just try to blow up a different planet? I think because Sonetta just had her focus on this one. No, but they were like, she was like, I guess I'll be a farmer now. And I'm like, how about instead of being a farmer, you just try and go blow up a different planet? That does make sense. But I think it's kind of like parents. When a kid is like, I want this toy. They just don't understand. (laughs) Uh, When parents have kids and they want that one specific toy and if Uh you get them something else they'll be very upset yeah so uh, i think it's kind of like that you 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 want to give your loved one the thing that they desire most it's not the same as that Uh, an analogy for it would be like anal g fuck off (laughs) anal yg would be like oh i want this purple bear plush but they only have pink so i so i'm gonna go play with dirt instead what yeah exactly is this how people feel when i make analogies (laughs) yes i think mine are pretty coherent and well thought out i've been doing them since high school to like make a point to a teacher but that okay so what is the what is the purple okay, bear? Okay, the purple bear's Earth. Okay, but they yes. can't have the purple bear, but they could have a pink bear. Berry. But instead of doing that, instead of getting the pink bear, they're like, no, I guess I'll just have to go play in the dirt now because I can't have the purple one. I think more so instead of playing in the... Oh, because she's going to farm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess it does make sense. Yeah. I thought you were just saying like them constantly trying to destroy the earth was the analogy. Yeah. Instead of her saying, yeah. fuck it, I'll go. Yeah. Man, that planet, if it's just one big old farm planet, that's a cool planet. Yeah. That's what Star Wars yeah. gets right. They say, hey, yeah. you like an environment of the world, uh-huh. a whole planet of that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. No equator mess. It's just the same thing all around. Yeah. Go to the Endor moon of Endor, uh-huh. and Ewoks are there. Uh-huh. 
And when an yeah. Ewok, do you, do you just want to pick up an Ewok and shake him real no. quick to see if all of a sudden his eyes roll back and it's a god in disguise and shaking it is what you need? What? <laughs> yeah, that's an analogy for my life. Okay. I'm sorry, do you want to shake Frank? <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm trying to just like, I'm shaking anything that I can get my mitts on to say like, will this work? Mm -hmm. And hoping God sees me, a.k.a. that fat greenback because cash is God. <laughs> sure. Uh, so I love the part where the evil guy is like, hey, you got to take out Signal Man first. And then the one guy's like, Dynamo. You, you don't tell me what to do. I tell people what to do so then he tells Zelmoda and Zelmoda's like yeah I'm already doing that and I was like story of my life Chia! they're uh their mech which is composed the the evil mech that is in this episode that I Zelmoda that was funny it's comprised of a cardboard model that came from this huge book like this huge magazine and a god sized book that he published that has like a cardboard insert yeah if that from, you, where you can build a model it, the magazine is called spaceland yes and this model was called nori nori shiran 12 and i think it's the, one of the coolest designs in sentai ever I, all of the evil mechs are usually very cool but to be honest that devil shit bro i want to see one through 11 Ooh. Let's draw it you up, You have to Nicole. get the other publications. Let's draw it up. The other Nora issues Shiran. of the magazine. Let's do Nora Sheeran 1 through 11 on Patreon live I'm streaming. I'm too busy making masks. You're a hero. Stop. I remember a big old sandwich, a long one. <laughs> Baby. I'm going to play Animal Crossing without you. With or without and you. And I'll live stream it and hang out with Sammy. <laughs> Sammy Kenobi <laughs> and a bish. I wrote down, don't get so mad. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. In the beginning, the Car Ranger are like, oh, we can do whatever we want. The Bozoks suck. We're the top dogs. Mm -hmm. There's no way they can beat us. Look at our track record. So... Dapu's like, no, you guys need to just focus. You guys are being cocky. You, you're you're overestimating your own skills or underestimating See, them. I thought the episode, like, I thought Dapu should have been mad that they were abusing their powers. Uh, yes, that's also what he was doing. Not that they were just being too confident. And during him saying all of this to uh, Naoki and Natsumi, all of a sudden Minoru says, oh man, relax, and then shoves his suitcase in Dapu and says, don't get mad, hold this. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a flex. That was a mood. That was Yas Queen. No. That was Liddy AF. That was TikTok. <laughs> I ran out of sayings. <laughs> Yikes. Then we find out that Exhaust is trying to create a highway that spans the entire universe where you can go as fast as you want and cause as many accidents as you want. But he needs to destroy Earth in order to do that. It's very corporate greed type stuff. But it's weird that it's not it's sized for like regular people. Like, he wouldn't be able to drive on it. Uh, yeah, I think he just wants chaos in the world. Right, he just wants to watch it. Wants to watch it burn Joker style. Uh, then they, they shoot the hell out of Signal Man. Just like, do 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 And he's like, oh, oh, oh. Because they were super fast. Yeah. Until Grotch forgot a part and the arm fell off. He was trying to explain it to him, at least. Mm-hmm. He's like, hey, guys, and then they're like, shut up, crotch. Yeah, but in the first place, he was like, hmm, this I have an extra piece. Uh, it's fine. Oh, he does say that? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's on him then. 
And then they, since they made that out of a cardboard box, I was like, I'm so glad Frank's not watching this. He'll get some ideas. Mm-hmm. He'll make a robot mm-hmm. out of cardboard. And then all of a sudden he's asserting dominance on us. Was <laughs> that on this episode or the other? I don't remember. I don't remember anymore, man. Yeah, because we've now been recording for almost two hours. Yeah. I'm all done with notes and I'm confident in this episode. What else would Frank make? He might make something so he can open up doors just so he can crawl into bed with us. But he'd be in that robot and that'd be scary. It'd take up the whole bed. He already takes up the whole bed. Yeah, because he stretches out and we don't want to squish his little delicate paws. Yeah. Because he's like, I have arthritis. Who was I there? Cute. It's cute that he has arthritis. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I... I don't know if I've ever said this before on the podcast. I always was afraid like this, I think, is terrifying. And they they talk. They it's explained and brought up whatever the word I'm looking for Mm -hmm. in is on Rob Zombie's Halloween. The first one, just like a kid in a full grown scary mask. So it like sets on their shoulders. If you were to wake up and you saw like a small nephew of yours just like walking around in that late at night and they go, hey, Aunt Nicole, you'd be like, "Ah!" scary as hell. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, guys, I don't either. What? (laughs) Should I edit that out? Oh, Oh, man. Oh, yeah. See my muscles. Okay, so I'm not crazy because of the quarantine. I'm not. This is me. I'm just regular crazy. I'm I'm, crazy all the time. I'm going to find some stem cells and you better believe I'm going to rub it on my tooth. And then I'm going to rub it on my bones and I'll grow six inches in one day. Three times the size my heart will be. By bones, he means... Penis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, I want a larger penis. Oh, okay. Not because I'm not confident in its size. It's too scare Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever what? I don't know if I've ever said that joke. I've said that to you before. Because one time Jessica St. Clair on You Made It Weird uh. was like uh, Pete was like, yeah, you know, like men, you know, like we want a bigger penis. And uh, she's like, we don't. We do not want you to have a bigger <laughs> penis. It like that's this size is good enough and anything else is scary. Yeah, actually a friend of mine told me a story about how they went to Chicago and like met this guy and was like potentially going to have sex with them until they saw how big their penis was and they're like, "Uh, no." <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard the same kind of stories. Yeah. And yeah, guys, that's called big dick shaming, so how about you quit doing it? And little dick shaming, how about you quit doing it? And regular dick shaming, how about you quit doing it? I mean, having an like the perfect size penis, shame me. Why don't you? I'm sorry, are you saying you have the perfect size penis? At least for someone I know. Okay, oh, yeah. TMI. I know, that's why I didn't, I didn't want you to... Then I didn't want T- you to bring um, that up I, because I you know you said it. But no, uh, no, you said I didn't it. want you to ask more information because I know I have the perfect size penis. Like I'm confident in the size because it does good work. Oh my god! Oh, in the bonus episode, I talk about a very, very traumatic thing. The and, boner episode, <laughs> and then that what I just said, I feel is oh, too much information. I'm leaving. Opposed to Bye. the other stuff. All I'm right, I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing Nicole, without you. What you got to plug? <laughs> Darlinghomebody.com. Get cool shit, babies. Patreon.com slash Darling Homebody to get cool stickers. Baby. And uh, Darling Homebody on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. All right, guys. Hey, first of all, go over to MLMPod.com to find out more information about my other podcasts, such as What the Hell Mouth, Hit It and Crit It, and This Movie's Gay. Most of those are on hiatus right now because they can't, no one can record. Uh, You can't go out. We're staying home. We're staying safe. Listen to my music. My album might be out on May 1st, wherever music is found. We don't know. The bonus episode that will be put out goes into more detail of why I'm so angry about this. 
distro kid those are my main things to plug oh go over to youtube search mostly speak in sentai watch our live streams the 12 hour one is fantastic we have timestamps of wherever the games go i recommend monopoly <laughs> i forgot about that. <laughs> and nicole's pokemon sweets guys did you know that I'm the stupidest person James knows. <laughs> Monopoly. And oh, and then my Car Ranger playthrough is also oh. on there. But guys, go over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod to get brand new content like the Toku Reading Corner. It's Nicole's podcast where she's reading tokusatsu related fan fiction. This next one is a Power Rangers one that comes out on Friday, this Friday. And then she rec she's recorded some other goodies that I'm making music for and I'm so excited about. But you can go over there. $5 gets you all those exclusive podcasts every single Friday, a new episode. Engage with Cage, talking about Beyblade, talking about Beyblade. I'm sorry to the about Beyblade fans. But also, if you're a $10 and above patron, you get special shout outs. And that's what we're about to do right now. Listen to our previous episode because I'm weaving in a story, guys. So first up, Hit People Guy, a.k.a. Steve F., the most charitable man alive, recently started a big brother, big sister organization called Car Rangers for Kids, where at-risk youths get their own personal car ranger to help them with homework, car magic tricks and set them up with internships for managing space cops pursuing public speaking opportunities. The foundation has seen smashing success, cutting juvenile crimes in half. Unfortunately, the jingle in Car Ranger for Kids commercials itself has become a crime of annoyance and those playing, singing, or even tapping the overtly catchy beat are subject to fines and, in serious cases, clean Cleaning the lint out of Bozak belly buttons. That's some sick stuff. Hoo <laughs> hit people guy. Why you doing this to us? Next. Eric Berry of Ranger Command Power Hour, original Red Racer, humbly in the shadows, happily watching his team succeed. However, when he sees his Car Ranger mates feeling invincible, leaving their guards down, he does what any Ranger of the shadows would do. Throw anatomically correct animatronic babies crying bloody murder trying to put out their fire-lit skin with their solvent tears at these Rangers when they least expect it. Looking for discount cookies at the grocers? Hope your cart has a baby seat? Playing baseball with the bros? Better have a nine pound, eight ounce catcher's mitt ready. Pooping on the toilet? Well, put down the candy crush and pick up a diaper. Boy, that Eric guy sure is a team player. Next is C, the biggest Car Ranger fan there is. So big that she's monetizing her fandom by writing editorials in the local paper, aka Spaceland, speculating who the Car Rangers truly are. Each week is different, but for some reason, Shamar Moore of Criminal Minds is a constant, having been speculated to be the secret identities of each racer, Signalman, and even Dapu. Don't worry though. C donates all money made off her articles to Car Rangers for Kids. Steve F, better watch out. C is coming for that most charitable spot. And finally, Alex Z, aka The Waz, or in Nicole's case, aka The Wad, new morale boosting manager at Pegasus Auto. With the current COVID pandemic, the safety of her Car Ranger co workers is top priority. So she gave them all a month paid sick leave. Now, all you capitalist scum out there are probably thinking, well, how can the company afford that in the economic standstill? Easy. Her and Illness Immune Dapu designed and manufactured four robotic mechanics so she could keep up demands of their clients all while keeping her team safe. The Waz is truly deservant of sainthood. Guys, thank you so much. If you'd like these shout outs each week on Mostly Speaking Sentai, again, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. $10 or above, just go with $10. We possibly could not reciprocate anything else that's above $10. But please, patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. And I've been James. I've been Nicole. And we've been Mostly, Mostly Speaking Sentai. Bye-bye. 
Get it down, get it clown, and everyone knows we in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers know. Getting in town, then we flow. All right. Motherfuckers know. Motherfuckers know. Cheer! Mother. Cheer! Mother. Cheer! Mother. Cheer. Mother. Hey. All right. Throw out. Throw anatomic. <sighs> Throw anatomically correct. Oh my god. Throw anatomically correct. Throw a throw anatom anatomically. Well, hope that well hope. Oh my god. <laughs> this has been a Marshland Media Production, produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash mlmpod and sign up today.